Ah, rat. <laughs> I knew there was a rat here. <laughs> rat jumped right in front of me. And we're back with another edition of the Fishing Pole. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Today I'm back here at Indian River, Delaware. This is the Indian River Inlet. I hear that the tog bite and the sheep's head bite is pretty hot right now. I'm gonna see what's biting. Let's do some fishing. That's a bite. Is this thing on? This thing is on. There's one. Don't feel big though. He's a little toggy. A little tog. Wow, you're small. It's am it's amazing. It's amazing that hook actually got got in you, little guy. Oh god, what is he? He's sunfish size. Very tiny. Little dink. Little dinker. Tinker. I caught sunfish the same size as you. <laughs> nice. Woo! I saved my flea. Yeah, let's recycle. I'll recycle the flea. In Missed him. Little tappity tap tap. They're here. This is a little outcropping here in the jetty. This is the north side of the jetty. Um, I've experimented here enough to try to figure out where I can fish here. They're gonna double up on me. They, they, he swallowed both of them. So I'm gonna throw two sand fleas on. And today we got a ruler, which is definitely a plus, especially when you're fishing for these guys. Size limit is 16 inches. Tog are a form of wrasse. And the only other form of wrasse here in this area on the East Coast is actually the Bergal. As you go further south, there's a ton of them. Not here. Not here in Delaware. Pop in then, please. Yep. So I thought. He robbed me. He robbed me good. He robbed me good. I'm glad I got a big bag in them. So, Old Inlet Bay and Tackle, not sponsored by them, has these for six bucks. Um, I was tempted. I went over to Dick's and I saw frozen ones about half the amount for the same price, but I'd rather go with the live ones. Live bait is always better. Watch. And our first snag of the day. <laughs> the dreaded oyster toad. I dreaded you all morning. That's what it was. Freaking oyster toad. They are probably the prettiest fish in the world. Also known as the mother-in-law fish. If you look at their, I think it's their dorsal spine and their pectoral fins here. They do have poison. Yes. That's why they call it the mother-in-law fish. They really don't want to touch you. They don't know where you've been. Traverse. Ah, you frigger. I don't have gloves on, unfortunately. If 
Fox Ripple. Are you serious? Is this one? Yeah. He did the same thing to me he did last time. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> freaking toad you're a toad in my day that's not a compliment it's a different one definitely that might be what's what's popping at them yeah i know i know again he was stuck in the rocks he's stuck in the rocks he's stuck in the rocks He was stuck in the rocks. The dreaded oyster toad. Big mouth, little fish, the oyster toad. Ugh. Wicked bite, Mr. Taltog. And I don't think he's big enough. I think he's too small. Nice little Toggy. Hello, Toggy. I haven't seen you in a year. Ah, uh, about 12 inches. 12 inchy Tog. All right, let's get this guy back in. <laughs> nice catch. Nice catch. Should be playing for the Phillies. And free to go. Did it, did it. All right. Finally, these are, this about missed them. These are little hickory shad. Oh, wait, 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 what are they? Yeah, these are hickory shad. There's a few school of them right out there. Probably about 10 inches. Good bait. Good bait. If you can take a look, there are, I don't know, about a hundred gulls right there in between the wash between the bay and the ocean where this current is really turbulent. And there's a huge cool bay fish right there. Kind of neat. 